okay today we are going to uh, start the uh, first problem in uh, points okay so we'll take the first problem draw the projections of the following points on the same xy line keeping keeping convenient distance between each each projectors good name the name the quadrants in which in which they lie so first one a point a 30 mm above hp and 35 mm in front of vp point b 35 mm above hp and 40 mm behind vp point c 40 mm above hp and on vp next point d 35 mm below hp and 30 mm in front of vp okay so this is the problem say the basic problem which you have solved it is only the one point on the x y line but you see in this problem draw the projections of the following points on the same x y line that is on the same x y line we need to project all these four points a b c d on the same x y line okay by keeping convenient distance between each projectors and after that we have to name the quadrants in which they are lying okay we need to mention either a is lying first quadrant b is lying in which quadrant and c is lying which quadrant and d is lying which quadrant so that thing we have to do it so first we are going to draw an xy line okay first we are going to draw an xy line Okay, here in you should not write vphp okay you should not write because uh, there are uh, four points lying on the same x y line okay so now we'll take one by one first we'll take point a okay you can see the question a point a is lying 30 mm above hp and 35 mm in front of vp so above hp and in front of vp means it is an first quadrant okay it is an first quadrant right so in first quadrant we know that okay for your reference purpose i will be writing so for first quadrant vp will be above x line and hp will be below the x after uh, drawing the projections we will erase this okay so 30 mm above hp and 35 in front of vp it is in first quadrant so we know that 30 mm above hp above hp means it is front view so front view will be lying in the vertical plane so we draw 30 mm means three boxes and you put a point so this is a dash similarly so 35 mm in front of vp 35 in front of vp means it is top view so 35 means 3 and a half box okay 35 means 3 and a half 1 2 3 3 and a half okay 3 and a half box you have to mark okay and you put a point here 
that is your top view now you draw a dimension line for showing the dimensions So this is 30 and this is 35. So now we have done with the point A. Similarly, we look for the point B. So 35 mm above HP and 40 mm behind of VP. So above HP and behind of VP means it is in second quadrant. So point B is lying in the second quadrant. So after uh, finishing this, you just have to rub it. Okay. Remove this uh, VP and HP. For reference, for your uh, understanding purpose, you can write initially, then you can rub it. So 35 mm above HP and 40 mm behind of VP means it is second quadrant. We know that in second quadrant, both vertical plane and horizontal plane are above the extra line. So 35 mm above above HP means above HP means it is front view. So First we draw for 35, that is three and a half bucks. Okay, and you put a point. Above HP means it is front view, B dash. Next, 40 mm behind of AP. So it is in top view. Already we have drawn 35. So I will, I will be ex extending by 5 mm. And you put a point. Okay, now we can write the dimension line so this is 35 and here you can show it for the 40 so it is 40 okay. And now we have done with the two points now point c so 40 mm above hp okay 40 mm above hp and on vp so as we have discussed in the previous concept so and on vp means it is our top view okay it is our top view so above hp means so here above hp so we know this concept so hp vp so above HP means the point may be lying in first and second quadrant. Okay, first and second quadrant. So, so the point line may be lying in first and first and second quadrant. You can see that already we have uh, completed the top view, completed the top view. Now above HP means above HP means it is it is front view. So now we have to look in for the front view. So front view front view in first and second quadrant see in all these cases you just see in the first quadrant so where the front view is lying okay vp h so front view lying in the vertical plane it is above hp similarly in first second quadrant also you have to see for the front view so front view here also it is lying above the x view so in both these cases in both these cases front view is lying above x y okay so front view is lying above x y so first we draw on a front view so front view of that is 40 mm 40 mm above hp it is in front view so front view it is lying in first and second quadrant in both the cases for uh, in both the cases first and second quadrant in the front view it is lying in the vertical plane so vertical plane it is lying above the x y line and similarly in the case of second quadrant also vertical plane is lying above the x y line in both the cases the front view will be projected on the vertical plane that front view will be drawn above the x y line okay so that's why we'll be drawing 40 mm line 
40 mm line that is four boxes and put a point so that is front view okay front view okay 40 mm now so we have this point on vp so on vp means we know that it is in top view so on vp means we need to project this point that is top view on the exponent please remember it on vp means it is top view this top view has to be drawn on the x y line so okay so here the point will be the point c okay now similarly we will look for the point d so point d is lying 35 mm below hp and 30 mm in front of vp so it is in fourth quadrant correct it is in fourth quadrant so below hp 35 mm below hp and 30 mm in front of vp fourth quadrant so we know that in fourth quadrant both vertical plane and horizontal plane are lying below the x y line now we see so below hp which it is in front view so first we will draw in front front view so that is 35 35 and you put a point that is d dash okay now similarly we have in front of vp in front of vp means it is a top view so here in both the cases it is projected below the x y line i will put a point here 30 mm so it is top view d okay now we are going to project it draw with the projection line this is what after drawing this for drawing this we will erase these things okay we'll erase these things so this is we have written for our convenience okay so okay, now we have to write down you can see in this question we have to name the quadrants okay we have to name the quadrants in which they are lying now we have to write for the first one point a so point A you can write here. A is lie in. A is lying. We know that it is lying in first quadrant. Okay. A is lying in first quadrant. Similarly, for the B we will write. B is B is lie in second quadrant. Okay. B is lie in second quadrant. Similarly, C. C is lie in you can see that C is lie in first and second quadrant both the things you have to write okay because front view it is lying in first and second quadrant so we will consider uh, front view as a reference for writing it so here in the point C it is lying in first and second quadrant lying in first and second quadrant similarly for the point D we will write so point D is lie in so point D is lie in we know that it is lying in the fourth quadrant okay it is lying in the fourth quadrant 